Well, some of you might be looking to make a change this new year. Maybe take a month off if you uh, indulge in adult beverages, and it's often called dry January. What does it mean for your health? Registered dietitian, nutritionist, Dr. Beth Kitchen joins us this morning with the benefits of the alcohol-free month. Good to see you this morning, Dr. Beth. It's good to see you too, Mike, and Happy New Year. Well, Happy New Year to you. So I know a lot of people make this resolution to, you know, if they enjoy an adult beverage, go ahead and cut it out for the month of January. You see it on the internet a whole lot and in, and in news sites. And it started out in Britain um, in 2012. And their health services started this project because they wanted to help people to reduce the amount of alcohol they drink. Because we know drinking too much alcohol is really bad for us. So what are the benefits if you right. cut, cut, go cold turkey for the month of January? Right, so going cold turkey, which isn't always easy, but what the researchers found was compared to the control group, the people that abstained from alcohol, they had a better energy, they slept better, their blood sugars were improved, uh, their cancer markers were improved. So there might be some evidence where drinking less alcohol can lower your risk of cancer. And there's other research that supports that. And also their blood pressure dropped. So in just a month, they had these really positive benefits. I think the increased energy would be worth it if none of those other things happened. But it's, it's a lot of, there are potentially a lot of benefits. So if you're considering this, let's talk about some ways that you can accomplish this because it's not necessarily an easy thing to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how would, so, so from somebody just trying this for the first time, how would they navigate it? First of all, you might wanna try one of the apps uh, that you can go to on your phone. The Try Dry is the original app from the group that started Dry January in Britain, uh, but there are other apps as well. So check that out. Now, the other thing that I really strongly recommend is find a buddy to do this with, a family member. Maybe there's somebody that you go out to drink with a lot and you both might wanna do this together. And so that can be very helpful. Always remember that one slip is not a fall. Let's say one night you go out and you have a drink or two. Don't feel like you have failed. Just get right back on it. Because even if you don't do the whole 31 days of January, you'll probably still see some benefits. The other thing that I recommend is um, just kind of creating your own cocktails, making your own non-alcoholic cocktails. Things like um, salt, uh, Perrier water, you know, uh, carbonated water with juice added. I do that all the time. And it really makes me feel kind of festive. And so that's another big tip that can help. All right. Well, hope that's helpful for a lot of folks. Uh, Happy New Year once again. Dr. Beth Kay, we do appreciate it. Happy New Year, Mike. And that's our diet nutrition expert, Dr. Beth Kitchen. All right. And now it's time.